Hi, I'm Moby. Welcome to my studio. And the song that I wanted to talk about today, to be honest with you, uh, I haven't figured out what the title of it is. Um, it's a song that I've done with Damien Gerardo, um, who's an amazing singer-songwriter from the Pacific Northwest. And, I mean, it would be helpful if I knew the name of the song. But the way it works is I'll, I'll write the song and give it some weird random file name. And then when it comes time to release the album, I'll give it an actual finished name. And right now it's in between being given a file name and being given an album name. So in my ignorance, I don't know the name of the song. Uh, but it's... Uh, so, it's so the way this song came together is... Um, I programmed some drums and then I uh, and then I decided to play bass through a guitar amp because if you ever want a more atmospheric bass sound, um, don't record it direct. Record it through a guitar amp with reverb. And so I ended up. Let me see if I can even find it. Huh. Got. It. So this is one bass part. But then I wanted a more atmospheric bass part, so this is the part that I recorded through the amp. And like that bass part on its own, I thought it sounded nice, but it was maybe a little too thin. And so that's where I added this live bass. And then it even a little deeper sounding, I put in this low Moog bass, which on its own sounds a little bit like it should be the soundtrack to a science fiction, like a t British science fiction TV show from 1970. But all three played together give this very nice, sort of like warm but interesting bass part. So that's how the, the song started with all those bass parts. And then I sent the instrumental to Damien Gerardo, and he wrote these really beautiful vocals, um, which I can find over here somewhere. Da, da, da. Here they are. So here's his vocal. Out of sight, in a moment's time. And I thought they were really, really beautiful, like very simple and very plaintive. Um, but then as I was, I was working on the song, I wanted it to have this sort of like slightly strange atmospheric quality. And so one of the things I did was I took his vocals and put them through a weird old filter machine. And so. I think it was a bandpass filter that had an LFO going to it, but a ra very random LFO, like it wasn't timed to the track. And so then I ended up with this sort of atmospheric vocal. thought it would be interesting if I took that and put a very long delay on it. So then I ended up with... Which I thought was really very atmospheric and quite beautiful. I mean, clearly on its own, I couldn't use it, but then I added it to... So here's his original vocal. But then I added this filtered vocal. Like it gave it just a very sort of like like 
beautiful, sort of strange atmospheric quality. And here's what it all sounds like together. <laughs> song um, thanks to Damien Gerardo and his beautiful vocals and all my weird analog studio stuff um, unfortunately I don't know the name of the song uh, I'm assuming that by the time you see this the song will actually have a name <laughs> 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 